Hello Lolas, how are you guys doing today? If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, if you're not used to a channel where anything goes, then this might not be the channel for you, but if you're ready to join a channel where Listen, I have fun with my babies. I know that they are dolls. I do role play. I do uh, commentary. I do live streams. I do just whatever. Um, kit reviews, doll reviews, whatever. I paint, I root. Um, yeah, I mainly paint uh, my vinyl and I usually have someone root it for me. But then I also paint um, silicone and I root my own silicone babies most of the time um, in the past I did not and I sold a couple ball but I won't be doing that going forward for the most part if I can help it um, I just plan to really just you know make them all 100% done by me so today I have a new baby in the crib and I want to introduce her of course we have babies waiting for hair because <laughs> like I said the vinyl babies I don't root normally so, uh, as you guys know, um, I've been talking about Lulu, 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 and so I had to make a choice of who goes to get hair next, and I decided that Lulu would go get hair. So these two babies will probably won't have hair until next year, unless somehow a miracle happened and my rooter have an opening spot between now and. December and I can send one other baby then that's gonna be another hard choice that I'll have to make of who goes to get hair um, next so um, right now these babies aren't available for sale just simply for two reasons I don't want to sell them as ball babies and I don't want to sell them right now I want them to be a part of my personal collection but that may change now this baby painted by me this baby painted by me this baby was painted by another artist this is just part of my personal collection a baby that i bought so i also buy babies from other artists as well primarily i paint my own baby so most of the babies you see on my channel will be my babies um of course uh zoe uh, not zoe joey is a new addition that everybody's ranting and raving about rightfully so because i'm in love too but um Anyway, so I had to take a little time to officially introduce Zora. So I named her Zora, and when I looked up the name Zora, um, it just really um, had. It was a there was a uh, black writer um, named Zora. So I didn't really do much research on it, so I would be lying if I tell you much about it. But I actually just really like the name Zora for her. And so her name was going to be Amelia at first, but then I was like, I don't like to have to keep saying Amelia. So this is my little Tukaluka. And she is, so she is, what is her? Margot by Cassie Bray's face <laughs> and I use um limb let me see if y'all can get some light maybe I, I don't know if I open the window if that would help let's see if that help maybe a little bit so I I gave her limb arms and legs because I did not like the arms on the actual original kit sculpt um and the feet to me were nice but they seem to be a little bit immature for her but i don't know i i'm just really oh ooh, ooh, ooh. i was trying to get the limbs for you guys so i can show you guys but i think i just made a mess of things so i just dumped out actually another kit <laughs> Hang on guys, I was just gonna show you what her other limbs look like. Um, so what I did was I, I measured them up and see, you know, how much of a difference it would be to see if it would work. And I feel like she looks still looks good together because the arms and stuff was like the same length so as the limb arms. So 
but it just had all these rolls. And I saw real babies with these cuts in their arms like this, but I don't like it. So that's why I didn't use these arms. So I, those arms. And then the legs wasn't so bad. I actually wasn't offended by the legs at all. And I think the feet are nice. But I think the feet kind of looks more to be of a younger baby. So, yeah. So that was just, I don't know. I just thought, I just thought I'd mix it up a bit. Um, I painted her for myself for my personal collection. So if she looked a little crazy, it'll be okay because I wasn't really trying to sell her. Um, I thought she was going to be closer to Memphis color. But don't look like, don't look like she's close, she's Memphis color. But she is kind of close in similarity to, um, Cody Bear. So this is Cody Bear by Laura Tuzer Ross. And that is Margot by Cassie Brace with Limb by Bonnie Brown, arms and legs. So this is Milani. That is Milani. And this is Zora. And over here is Mimi. But we're gonna focus on these two girls just for right now um so yeah so as you can see she's much longer than her um I just really liked having um now I'll, I'll be honest um the limb hands were never my complete favorite especially this hand over here I don't like it on the actual sculpt when it's on with the whole kit either um I, it's not my favorite hand um but i do like that hand and i don't know like you never can love everything 100 percent. but um overall i love the limb sculpt and i think that she is a cutie and i thought it just mixed well i don't know you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think if you guys don't like her that's fine too but that zora let me see if i could turn her around um I didn't, let's see, so she has gums actually too, um, which is, she has like a little bit of gums up in her mouth and she has a little bit of a tongue at the at, in her mouth and stuff like that. So she does have a sculpted mouth. It's probably not going to show as much on camera. Let's see. Yeah. See, it's not going to show as much on camera, but yeah. So she has a lot of Motlin. Um, within her like complexion or skin tone and stuff like that so and I did pierce her ears today so it's just you know I just really really have a little fun with her just experimenting I'm trying to get comfortable with some of the darker um, skin tones look at that mama's girl and I did not tip her nails I, I, I did paint them but to be just like a just natural um, nail base color. And I didn't want the tips on there. Now I did, Cody Bear has a, a very little um, tip on her nails. Let's see. Like when you look at her nails. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, you probably can't. But yeah. So I just kind of kept them. See if it focus in, but I just kind of kept them just basic. But I I love 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 her. I love how she turned out. I love my girls. So I am gonna get Mimi into some role play too. But I was just so excited with Joey. I just went crazy. But I should have put um Memphis over here. But let me see if I can get him over here. He's kind of in the same skin tone as them family oh my gosh when you pick him up he just melts in your hand and all three of these babies oh, well all of these babies in this crib is weighted really really nicely i love babies with weight to them and some kits will fall better than others some no matter what you do they just don't fall cuddly like others let me see if i can <sighs> let's try i don't know how we gonna do this I don't know, but let's see. I don't know if you guys can see him, but that's that's him. And as you can see, like, 
Let's see if we can like lay him. Just, just here for just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> just to put him up in, in the, to have him in the camera. So, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, that got real close. I didn't know it would get that close. Look at her. Now you can see really close up to her. All right. So as you can see, he is a different skin tone. Um, hang on. I'm going to zip his thing up a little bit and take his legs out so you guys can see his legs. So like his legs. See. Whoa. Whoa, little man. So if you like put him, <laughs> if you put him right there. All right. No, if you guys can now. All right, well, get a little closer. Get a little closer. All right, let's see. I don't know. But you see, she is a look she so Milani is light the lightest and then Zora and then Memphis but they are like they're just a little it's like his color is a, just different I don't know but um yeah so I just wanted to share that because it's always funny for me I don't know if you guys be wondering it like when you I don't know like when you see other people post pictures of their babies and the color and be similar now his nails are more detailed I didn't he has tipping and all that great jazz and the uh half moons and whatever whatnot oh Puka. I don't even want to put him down <laughs> um but when you when you see like other people posting like their babies and stuff and like the colors be similar like I don't know about for you but for me I be like wondering like are they the same color? Like, is she the same color as so-and-so? That's how I be feeling, like, you know? So, that's why I figure I would show that because I'm always thinking that people think it, are thinking like me and they wanna know. Like, I be wanting to know. So, I decided I would share that little color comparison. So, it's, it's kind of funny and it, it actually, I'm starting to feel like now I'm starting to paint the same colors over and over again, if that makes sense. Like the details may be different, the modeling might be a little different, the coloring in the face may be different. Like like Milani nose isn't as pinky as um, Zora nose. Their lip color is similar but different. Um, so it's like they kind of like the coloring is kind of similar. So it's like. Yes, like I'm kind of starting to repeat some of my colors now, which is really interesting. Let me show you guys um, Aspen, which Aspen, you guys know, is Aspen by Claire Teller. And don't mind his hair. Don't talk about my puka. Say, don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. Oh, puka. So, like, and then he's, hey, okay, see, he's darker. So like he is close, he's close to her color, but it's like their undertones are different, I think, in those. I think Milani and Zora undertones are the same. Aspen's own is a little different, but I think they have a closer look, Zora and Aspen. I mean, as far as their legs go. Ooh. Child, all the squeaking, I know. Because I'm supposed to loosen it before I start twirling it. But I just don't be having time for all that. I just be doing it. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let me move move him. <laughs> Look at that baby. Whoa. Got my man. Alright, so. Oh, you smell so good. Mmm, smell like baby batters. Okay, so that's that's my color comparison. So it looks like, guys, I am officially in the pretty brown girl boy club, 
I got some brown babies for y'all over here. Don't don't be talking about all I have is yellow babies no more. They might not be dark dark, but they they are brown. I got some brown babies. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. So um, that's what's in the crib for today. I will catch you guys the next time. See you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will talk later. Oh, I'll talk about well sizes. She's of course, as you can see, she's not too far off from her size. So she's wearing 12 to 18 month size clothes, mostly a 24 month might would fit, but it will be like kind of, you know, loose on her or not as long. But yes, yeah, uh, so Zora does wear 12 to 18 months primarily. Um, I, and she has put on a 24 month. She actually put on the same 2T sleeper as this one. Um, so yeah. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.